Oh, whose birthday is it, little kitty? <laughs> well, unfortunately, we don't know the exact date of the sun's birthday. However, we do know something about its birth and how it came into existence. So, in today's episode, let us explore the creation of our beloved sun and answer a burning hot question. How was the sun formed? Zoom in! There are billions of stars in our galaxy, but the great glorious sun holds a special place in our lives. That's because its gravity keeps the solar system together, holding everything from the biggest planets to the smallest particles of debris in its orbit. Not only that, the connection between the sun and earth drive the seasons, ocean currents, weather, radiation belts and auroras. But the vital question is, how did our sun come into existence? Well, it all started 4.5 billion years ago in the Milky Way galaxy's Orion Spur when waves of energy traveling through the space pressed together the clouds of gas and dust called a solar nebula. These clouds mainly consisted of the gases like hydrogen and helium, but some of it was made up of the remaining remnants of dead stars. Then, as the nebula collapsed because of its gravity, most of the material was pulled toward the center as it began to spin faster, causing the cloud to flatten into a disk. And in the center of this disk formation, the material continued to clump together as the matter condensed into a burning ball of gas to form a protostar. Then over the next tens of millions of years, the temperature and pressure of the material inside increased, jump-starting the fusion of hydrogen that made the sun we know today. Today, with a radius of 4,32,168.6 miles, our sun is the largest object in our solar system. It is so big that it would take 3,32,946 Earths to match the mass of the Sun and can fit all eight planets inside it nearly 600 times. The Sun can be divided into six layers. Starting from the corona, next comes the chromosphere, then the photosphere, followed by the convective zone, radiative zone and finally the core. In terms of atom count, the Sun is made up of 91% hydrogen that acts as its fuel, 8.9% helium and 0.1% heavier elements like nitrogen and carbon. The temperature at the surface of the Sun is about 5600 Celsius, which rises as we go inward towards the center of the Sun, where it reaches around 15 million Celsius. Now, that's really hot! But here's a thing, my friends. Like all stars, the Sun will someday run out of energy. Yes, scientists predict that the Sun is a little less than halfway through its lifetime and will last another 6.5 billion years. After that, it will swell to become a red giant. Eventually, it will shed its outer layers and the remaining core will collapse to become a white dwarf. Slowly, the white dwarf will fade and will enter its final phase as a dim, cool object known as a black dwarf. And do you want to know what will happen next? Well, for that, do check our video, What If The Sun Disappears? The link is in the description below. Trivia time! 
Did you know the Sun is the closest star to our planet? Yes, the Sun is 93 million miles away from the Earth. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out.